who will fight them in the rucks? In the malls? And never surrender? Phil Walter slash Getty Images Jason Darden's chirp as Labour leader will come in handy as halfback in this Parliament Opinion, with the election championship looming on September 23rd, Stuff takes a look at the leading contenders for Parliament. Using the microscope of our national game. What would a parliamentary XV look like? We feel we have picked a side with MMP like balance. Though its selection has been disrupted by recent political events. And the first leader Winston Peters will captain the team. Composite image, stuff slash Getty images then and now, Winston Peters pictured at a rugby game in 1988. And in the house in 2017. Fullback, Stephen Joyce, national. Safe under the high ball and flying dildos. He can administer the infrastructure of backline defense from No. 15. Rather than at 13 where he was more of a convention center fan, graduate of Francis Douglas Memorial College, home of all blacks the Barry brothers. Conrad Smith and political commentator Patrick Bauer. That's good pedigree. Left wing, James Shaw, Green, eventually accepted the role. After at first insisting there be a female company left wing out there in 11 with him, concerns over his ability to read the game had arisen of late but still rated the best left wing in the house. Center, Peter Dunn, United Future. A center who can pass the ball to the left and the right, has an eye for the gap, and plays both sides of the field, was first penned in at lock, until it was discovered his height had been elevated 50 centimeters by taking in the height of his quiff. Good job for Bill English its union and not league after dropping the Sweden in training in July. Second five, Bill English, national, thought to be a safe pair of hands, until video emerged of him dropping a pass at a rugby league promotion, can probably expect a few hospital passes from first five Peters. As well, selectors were persuaded by the amount of running bashing Bill has been putting in, and by his high-carb spaghetti pizza diet, has agreed not to send texts to former staffers while on the field. Right wing, David Seymour, act, the low act MP was the first player written on the team charter, and not just due to his insistence that bars and rugby clubs stay open while the parliamentary XV was playing. Very good at the death. First five, Winston Peters, and the first. Insisted he be first five. Captain. Vice captain. Lead the hawk on. Coach. Physio. Drinks carrier. Doctor and communications manager. Concerns about his ability as captain to get on with the referee were laid when Peters said he would ref as well. His objection to having any player holding a Maori seat in his side was overruled. Jason Darden shows she's a league girl too. Pictured with the Mount Albert Premier Team. Halfback, Jason Darden, Labour. Initially said she wasn't interested in replacing Andrew Little at halfback. But his withdrawal has her in as a yappy. Feisty halfback in the TJ Perinara mold. So yappy in fact. She was once told to zip it sweetie by an opponent, an ardent rugby league fan. She's akin to Pyrie Week who adept at two codes, and like Pyrie at the 2011 Rugby World Cup. She's been picking goals from everywhere in training. No 8, Judith, Crusher, Collins, National. Used by National largely off the backbench for a time. Collins has proven too good to overlook. Given her ability to maim, maul and dismember, concerns around her discipline and decision-making saw her dropped after the tour to China, where she milked a penalty on the Argentine No. 8. Or Vita. Open side Luce, Nick Smith, National. As loose as they come. With a number of national captains forced to arraign him in after he either owned offside or went missing in action altogether, a climate change has him back on the open side, where his conflicts will be of interest. Blindside Luce, Mataria Ture, Green. Just what you need in murky places such as rucks and malls, says she has got away with playing the ball on the ground, being constantly offside, and deceiving the referee for two decades. But it's all okay as she was forced to do that by the stupid rules. Luck, T. Roro Flavel, Maori Party. Possibly related to former All Black Troy Flavel. Though we hadn't bothered to check, born in Tokoroa. As All Blacks Richard Pui, Walter Little, Kevin Milamu, Netballer Mariah Tutaya and Wallaby Kwabe Cooper were. That's good enough for us. Very strong on retaining territory and possession. Luck, Simon Bridges, National. His name makes him sound tall. Loose head prop, Calvin Davis, Labor. A loose head who likes throwing his weight around, good at sledging. Generally considered a bonus in the hurly-burly of top-level play. Hooker, Murray McCauley, National. He is throwing it in at this election. And hookers need to be good at throwing it in. Also we couldn't pick a female MP at hooker. As in politics inference is everything, deep concerns over this selection. Given his propensity for off-the-ball action. And his tendency to sneakily trip or put the slipper in on teammates and officials. Parliament XV veteran Jerry Brownlee in the team colors in 2009. Tight head prop, Jerry Brownlee, National. Front row powerhouse who rebuilt Quake Stricken Christchurch. So should have little difficulty propping up a scrum, 
will stop at nothing to mine for the ball. And there are few NPs better at lifting others up, especially if they're wearing blue. One of the first selected. Once he promised to always go through security when boarding the team plane. Not considered, Tom Barkley, National. First we couldn't find him. Then we had concerns over whether he'd turn up. He still wants his match fee though. Not considered, David Glenn and Kennedy Graham, once were green, initially in the frame. Until they questioned the team's tactics. The selection of Toure. And announced they were uncomfortable with the damage football does to grass. And steam off the forwards contributing to global warming. Stuff.